Uh, so when I build my seal pool, I usually pull out the rares first um, just to see what we're working with because that could indicate which direction we go in. So Orin Reef Hydra in green, Barrage Tyrant in black. Uh, I think I have a Gold Dress Overseer, a Smothering Abomination. Um, I don't think there's anything in blue. And I think there's a Felidar Sovereign in white. Yeah. And the last card left is an ally encampment. So uh, none of our rares are incredibly exciting. These are probably the best two. Um, this could work. These will be fine if we play them in our color. So uh, next we kind of want to take a look at the colors and what they provide me, uh, given that these are our rares. So let's take a look at white real quick. Um, so next I just usually pull out the cards that I will play in the colors. Not two, probably. I will play these. We have three Kitesail Scouts. Not too exciting. Maybe, maybe. And these are probably no's. So our white is... Fine. Let's take a look at black. We'll play Bone Splinters. We'll play this. We'll play you. Mars Mouse is great. Such color. Maybe, probably not. Richie to Hagra, not so much. Nope, 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 nope. Let's take a look at red real quick. We will not play you. Valakut Invoker is great and sealed. Sure Strike, I do not want to play. Reckless Cohort, I do not want to play. Cause like Sentinel is fine. Holy North is something that we might bring in in the sideboard and Goblin War Paint. Our red does not look good. We will probably rule it out. It's like a green. Baloth is great. Did your war color? Not so much. Snapping Gnarled. We will n prefer not to play Side the Leopard. Livespring Druid, Giant Mantis, Eyeless Watcher, Blister Pods, maybe one. Uh, we will most likely play Rune Processor. This if we can make work. He's great. He's great. And he's great. Um, let's take a look at blue real quick. We'll play all of you, not you, not so much. Oracle of Dust, we might be able to work out. Miss Intruder, rather not play, but we can make it work. Eldrazi Sky Spawn is great. Brilliant Spectrum and Anticipate. So our blue looks decent. We don't have any blue rares. Okay. So let's push all the non or medium playables over there. I'm gonna lay out our blue first because I think it might be our deepest color. I don't think the pool's particularly exciting. <sighs> okay. So our blue has some removal, some okay creatures. Not very exciting. Let's try laying white on this. Here it is. I get a five drop. Oh, we'd rather not play that. Our white blue deck looks very, very bad. We can't probably play this as the base colors. Take a look at black. We get Sludge Crawler, Myers Malice, that goes great with our Halimar Tide Crawler. This is fine. You guys go on three, some removal, bone splinters. Um, we will play this in this color. We might, we have no four drops. That's not good. We might play our Ruin Processor. With the Mist Intruders, I think I'm willing to make this work as well. No, this is still not good enough. Okay, Smothering Abomination works with our Grave Birthing. It works just with a Grave Birthing. This Drowsy Sky Spawner too. We will probably play this. Okay, let's 
look at white. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we're kind of scrapping for playables in these colors. The other problem with this is that I'm playing two mist intruders, which I would really prefer not to do. We're playing a lot more two drops that I want to in sealed because two drops don't really have that much impact in sealed. The ruination guide is much better with our mist intruders, which does make me want to play this a little bit more. It's really good with our Eldrazi Sky Spawner and our Dominator Drone. I guess the only question we really have is, is there in a way that we could play white and have this deck? to have a reasonable curve, and the answer might be no. We take out Oracle of Dust. Start taking a look at I black. Try taking a look real quick at blue, green. Where's my green? Here's my green. We would prefer not to play Blister Pod. Eyeless Watcher is great. This is good. Four mana. This is a fine two drop. Tajiro War Collar is good. Um, Catacomb Sifter does not fit these colors. And then Orin Reef Hydra. This actually doesn't look that bad. We could splash for a retreat to Emeria with our Evolving Wilds and our Lifespring Druid. The only card that we're missing out is Followed Our Sovereign. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. This is also not great. <sighs> Our black gives us better removal. Our black gives us two good threats. Myra's Malice, which buys back with Halimar Tide Collar. I think, and this goes better with a Smothering Abomination. I think I like black better. But I think it's possible we might want to side into a blue green deck against some decks. realistically goes here that we might buy it back and this is really not necessary so where does this leave us 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 Yeah, so I'll play 22 in this deck. I just need to, I guess, start one more card. Dutiful Return could be good with our smother Smothering Abomination. Don't think I want to play Retreat to Hagra. It's not this deck. Voracious Snell is not good, especially with Smothering Abomination in the deck. Oh, I know what we can do. We can play this. And the retreat. 
Mm, we lose a life spring druid and we can't really splash it so cheaply anymore. That is unfortunate. Yeah. So we'll likely play this, likely play this. Not particularly impressed with either of these and the Evolving Wilds. Yeah, so can we make this work? We have one Evolving Wilds. Seems like we cannot. Probably means that we play him. Chance we might want to splash him, and we have a lot of colorless creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, this doesn't count. Eleven. We can have one free red source. It's probably not worth it. Okay, where does this leave us? I think this is 22. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I will probably start this. Now I just gotta check to make sure that this is nothing I want. anything most of my creatures are not allies not even this guy just him looks like ally encampment not today or I'm able just to retreat to coral home nope voracious no does this do anything interesting nope Either one of these. Wow, I do not want to play that. The blue black deck that I will register. I'm just gonna double check that there wasn't anything we could have done. Um, with white. No, nope. It is bad. Okay, I'm gonna register this deck. Hello and welcome to the sideboard here for the StarCityGames.com presents Grand Prix Atlanta. I'm Ken Crocker here with Queen of the Vipers herself, undefeated in Super Leagues all around formats. <laughs> Gabby Sparts. Gabby, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well. So we're here for your seal, Bill. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we recorded it, so they'll see that. But we're here to talk about how you did and why, what sure, you did. Sure, absolutely. So the first easy question, obviously, is uh, how, how did you feel about your pool overall? Uh, I've had better sealed pools in this format before, <laughs> I'll put it that way. Um, it was really not very good. The fixing was not amazing. Um, the rares were not particularly exciting, so we, we made do with what we had. Well, uh, when you started out, you immediately disregarded red, yeah. basically. So you had a rare, you had Barrage Titan, mm -hmm. or Tyrant, yeah. but you just didn't want to play red at all. Uh, is there any reason for that? There's it, not enough cards, there were not, not enough playables. Cards. There were a couple, like the Valken Invokers I think are pretty good in sealed. They're a really good finisher. Um, 
I had a lot of uh, red tricks, which sure. I don't is not what I want to be doing in sealed at all. Okay. There were not enough creatures, so pretty much right off the bat, we know that red's not really going to be the color that we're playing. Uh, and then you mentioned that your white was probably where you were going to go at first. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you laid out your, your rare was Felidar Sovereign. You yeah. la laid out a bunch of kind of white weenie-esque sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But then you eventually moved away from that. So w why no white? Um, so there were a couple of cards. The way I look at a lot of these, I know we can't show them up there, but um, the way I look at a lot of these colors, I'm looking at the cards that draw me into the color. Sure. Um, so the cards that drew me into white were Felidar Sovereign, Royal's Retribution. Um, Retreat. The retreat, the retreat. Sure. All of those make me want to play white. Okay. Um, I think the white was pretty shallow. So then the next thing I was looking at is, can we splash any of these cards reasonably, and like, will it work? Okay. Um, and then I think about splashing retreat, right? But the problem with splashing retreat is, if I'm waiting for really late in the game to actually play it, then I don't have lands anymore so to trigger the retreat. So it's not as effective. So I no longer want to splash that. Thunder Sovereign is double white. Okay. So I no longer think that's viable. And Royal Mage's trick is, is fine, but it's also double white. Sure. So if I know that I'm not that white's not going to be one of my base colors, then even though there's a couple cards that draw me into that color, it kind of makes me go a little bit further away from that. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, you then moved into blue, which you ended up playing. Right. You ended up playing a blue black build. Mm. Uh, blue seems to be your deepest color, but I, it's the only color you actually didn't have a rare in. Correct. And I think sometimes you have to do that. Um, like, we don't have blue, we can't really do anything about it, but there's a couple of really good interactions here. Uh, the Minstus Intruders play really well with the Halimard, or sorry, with the Ruination Guide. Okay. Um, turns them into two power flyers, which, you know, can put a dent in your opponent. The Drazi Sky Spawner is a great card. It's not a rare, but I'm very happy to play it in my sealed pool. Halimard Tide Color is amazing. Um, and Halimard Tide Color goes really well with my Myers Malice, which is, I think, an excellent card in seal, so sure. I want to play that. Um, and then we have Wavewing Elemental, which I think is not generally a card that I would play in draft, but in sealed, it's a very good finisher. So uh, now I'm definitely looking at, we know we have Tightening Coils, which is a fine removal spell. Sure. Um, especially when a lot of my creatures are flying anyway. Yeah. And then Anticipate will help me smooth out my draws. So then I, it looks like, yes, we don't have a blue rare, but my blue is definitely going to be one of my base colors. So you realize that blue is going to be your base color, and then you actually talked about maybe building blue-green. Now, yeah. green has been much maligned by the pro community, by anyone who plays Magic Online. Yeah. Actually, literally anyone who's ever drafted the format Correct. probably wants to stay away from green. Right. So you were thinking blue-green, maybe. Yeah. Uh, is it because it was green that you decided no, not to go with it? Or that, what, what shooed away green? That was not the reasoning. So. I, I, like a lot of people, don't like green a lot in the set, uh, okay. in the format, but I think in sealed it's a little bit different. The problem with drafting green is that when you're drafting green, it can go off the rails. Sure. Um, you don't know, it's <laughs> going to start out okay, and then just the wheels fall off, and then you end up in this like awful unplayable this, deck. This like greenish Right, mess. it's like this green monstrosity, right? That's not necessarily the case in sealed, because in sealed you already see everything you have. So if you okay. have good green cards, you have the good green cards. And I had a couple. I had the Tajur War Caller, which is an excellent card. Yes. And I have a Bayloth, which is fine. Yeah. Um, you have the Hydra, the Orn Reef Hydra. I have the Orn Reef Hydra, which is, a, is you know, yeah, very he's, good. he's a very good card. And then I have a couple of filler cards in the middle. The problem that I did, the reason that I didn't like um, the green um, blue build sure. is that there's a lot of cards in my blue that play really well with my black. So uh, an example is, well, I guess these two are black, but sure. the Mist Intruders play really well with... Um, like the Talimar Tide Caller plays really well with my Myers Malice. Sure. Um, it's actually, it looks like it's your only Awakened card, actually. It's my only Awakened card. I think it might have been the only one in the pool, yeah. period. Um, and then the other thing that the black provided that the green didn't really provide, because it, yeah, we were going to have a lot of fine green creatures, is there was really no removal in those colors, uh, except for the Tightening Coil. So this provides me both Bone Splinters and Demon's Grasp. Um, and this plays well with my Grave Birthing, which can be eaten by the Smoldering Abomination. Um, and a really, I mean, like a decent finisher in the form of Goldra's Overseer. Yeah, you're not playing a lot of Eldrazi Scion. Right. But, you know, you still give your guys plus one, plus, plus oh, Correct. or plus two, plus oh, you're still going to get there. Right. And like you said, you have a lot of flyers, mm -hmm. so in Sealed, that might help. Correct. And so I, I do think I do think that the blue green deck is playable. Okay. Um, I, I am concerned about not playing almost any removal in sealed. So I think it's very reasonable that I might side into that deck a lot today. Okay. I just didn't want to start a deck with pretty much no removal. Sure. 
and then obviously you went to black and black has uh, two your rares so actually your pool wasn't one of those pools that builds themselves where it's like yeah, you have like not. four rares mm -hmm. in one color you had yeah. you know one rare in each color except for black you had two colors and then correct. no rares in blue and you ended up playing black blue correct so um that was nice it was nice that two of my rares are in black um the smothering abomination is not this is not the best deck from the smothering abomination that i've ever seen um it's just not we have uh, potentially we can eat a creature that gets tightening coils on our end. We sure. can eat something with grave birthing. We can eat uh, the Eldrazi Sky Spawner. And I have these lower drop creatures that I don't care very much for. Calastra Healer was just filler. Yeah. Just filler. So if I ever have to eat that with Smothering Abomination, no big deal. Um, but it is, it is, it puts a real clock on your opponent. It draws you cards. It hits pretty hard and it flies. It's a real finisher. It's a real and finisher. Sacrificing two drops, you know, on turn 10 Don't probably care. doesn't matter anymore. Don't care at all. So I think Smothering Bone Nation is a reason for me to want to play black. Um, like I said, the Gold Draws Overseer, not the most incredible card, but it starts to add up when you start looking at these mist intruders and these little critters that are, are attacking in the skies. Um, being able to give your team plus two plus O oh is pretty important. Sure. Um, the other thing, and you know, I'm not excited about playing two Mist Intruders <laughs> in the deck, but I think I have so many processors that actually care for it. So I have um, Oracle of Dust, which obviously cares about processing, even though I think it's fine. Yeah. I could, if I had some incidental ways to process, like if I just had these two, it would still be fine. Sure. But then we have Ulamog's the Spoiler, which is... Um, it's very big. It's very big. And the power level of this whole deck is not very high. Sure. Which makes me want to play this guy a lot more. And I really need to have some cards in processing for him to work. He's very embarrassing if you don't process. Yeah, the 6 minute 5-5 five, five, not doing a whole lot in this format. Correct. So Ulamog's the spoiler really made me want to play the double Mist Intruder. Uh, Ruin Processor is excellent. I will play that card almost. Yeah, helps almost, you in the races. Yeah, it helps you in the races. Um, and I will relatively be able to trigger uh, ingest hopefully with my two mist intruders and the spell shrivel and the great birthing i wish i had a benthic infiltrator but i didn't sure um, yeah the, uh, the unblockability would probably right. be very helpful yeah <laughs> so uh, this is where we ended up at so um one area that's not talked a lot mm -hmm. about and sealed is sideboarding sure. which is very important especially if you're trying to play a sealed deck throughout nine rounds absolutely every once in a while you're going to catch people here and there so what kind of cards in the sideboard are you looking at to bring in? I think you mentioned Dutiful Return, possibly. Yeah, so from the cards in the sideboard that I think are kind of interesting, Alter Sweep and Dutiful Return are the ones that kind of stick out at me. I, I'm not looking, I'm not eager of what, like sitting at the edge of my seat being, I'm ready to bring this card and I'm so <laughs> excited. Um, but I might also bring in a Blighted Fen against an opponent who's maybe not playing that many Scions, maybe they're playing only like big creatures. Sure. Um, I'm Another not, removal spell. Correct. I'm not. Particularly, I wouldn't want to start this card. I'm not very impressed with Blighted Fen, but I think it's a, it's a fine card to sideboard into. Okay. Um, we, and we have the sideboard into green plan, possibly. Yes, and if we sideboard into green, we you know we can start making some of the other splashes a little bit more feasible. Like we could potentially splash um, some of the blue cards if we wanted to, because Fertile Thicket is very good at helping us find that okay. third that third piece. So if we had played green, we would. Probably we, play Sultai yeah, almost. We, yes, we would be able to play some sort of Sultai thing where maybe we're splashing for a Demon's Grasp and um, Meyer's Mouse potentially. These are both excellent. Sure. Uh, and then we have the Sultai ability yep. or a possibility open to us. All right, uh, and then finally, not to put you on the spot, mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask you to call your record, but I am, oh, you God. know, <laughs> grade your deck. Okay. So where, where do you see it? Um, B minus. I will give this like a... Uh, B. A strong B? Like a, like a trending downward B. I, I don't think this is a very good deck. You have to hit that extra credit in there yeah, in yeah, order yeah. to bring it I'm up to a B? I'm going to have to put a lot of work in, okay. play with a lot of heart with this deck. <laughs> I think there's going to be a couple of games where I'll, I'll get off to a quick start between like Mist Intruder and then go Ruination Guide, maybe have him discard a card, maybe buy it back with Halimar Tide Caller, discard again, and just like play Gold Dress Overseer and then win. Like there will be games where that happens. Sure. There's going to be a bunch of games where I'm either going to get run over by like an, an okay ally deck, okay. which isn't that common in sealed anyway, but like some more aggressive sure. build. The thing is my deck is not that fast, but it also doesn't have the good top end. So it right. puts you in this like awkward spot of you want to go faster, but you don't really have the tools to do that. So then you want to prolong the game, but that's not to your benefit. In this, you're in the right. mid-range sealed pool, yeah. which not many people want to be in. Yeah, but. no, it's it's uh, it's not excellent, but yeah, I think there will be a couple games where I just kind of like run them over between 
ruination guide and miss intruders and smothering abominations is gonna kill them in like a couple turns. Well, if anyone can do it, it's you. Cause you're on the hot streak. You're undefeated like the last bunch of times you played Magic. So you're on the hot streak. Maybe you'll run into your fellow uh, Super League opponent, Kenji Agashira and maybe get the little rubbins again I, there. Yeah, that would be fun, playing a game paired up against them. Maybe some sick rubbins while I'm at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gabby, well, we appreciate you taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you very much Thank for signing us in. Thank you very much. In. Happy to be here. All right, you guys stay tuned for more sealed action here at Grand Prix Atlanta.